welcome back. Today we are making a bath oil. It's a really hydrating recipe that I absolutely love. You can pour it in the bath with you. You can use it after a shower before you get out just kind of on damp skin. It's going to leave your skin feeling smooth and soft and hydrated and absolutely fantastic. So to uh, make this you're just going to need a jar. I like this one. It's kind of like a little, um, almost like a little pitcher. It's got a handle. It's got a little lip to pour with. Um, and it's small, it's not heavy, it's very portable, so I like this. And it's also kind of cute just sitting there on your counter. For my oils, I will be using olive oil. It's very hydrating, very good for you. Peanut oil, if you have a peanut allergy, watch out with this one. I don't know if the oils trigger the allergies because I don't have one, but if you do have a peanut oil aller allergy, maybe just skip that one entirely. I use avocado oil, this stuff's great. It's really hydrating, really moisturizing. It um, has like a lot of vitamin E um, and fatty acids, things like that in there. It's really great for your skin. I also use jojoba oil. I love jojoba oil. I read somewhere that it is one of the easiest oils to absorb into your skin. And so you get more of the beneficial properties from it than maybe some other oils. That could be wrong, but I did read it somewhere. As far as the scent, I'm gonna use my tea tree oil, essential oil. I love the stuff, I use it for all my bath products. I love the way tea tree smells in general. It's antibacterial and then everything smells the same so I don't have to like decide what I want to use. It's all just tea tree oil and it smells lovely. So we're gonna get started. I like to put in all the food stuff first and then the non-food, if you're not familiar with that. Peanut, avocado, and olive oil equal food oils. They're things that you would find in your kitchen, things you can use in your kitchen, things you can eat. And then non-food, jojoba oil. You don't wanna eat it, great for your skin, not good for inside. Um, tea tree, you should not be consuming essential oils. Um, just, you, they don't, you don't eat them, they're not food. Don't put them, um, don't use like a spoon or anything to stir them and then like kinda rinse it in the sink or anything it's just it's not good don't do it anyway we're gonna get started so we're gonna start with some olive oil I'm just gonna pour it right in and I will put kind of the ratios that I do as far as what I'm aiming for ratio wise for like a recipe down in the description below so we have our olive oil I just kind of like to do fourths right to there I've been making it in this bottle for a while so I kind of know what I like but I will figure out like what the actual measurements are because I've just kind of played around with this bottle so long and I don't actually know what this bottle holds. I think it's like a cup, something like that, but I will figure it out and I'll post it down below. It's probably gonna be like a fourth of a cup, fourth of a cup, a fourth of a cup, a fourth of a cup type thing. Peanut oil, because I grabbed it, you could grab avocado oil as well. Pour it in until it's about halfway. And if you're thinking this looks like a cooking oil, you're right because we're pouring a bunch of cooking oils into it. And then we will do my avocado oil. I love this stuff. I tend to go a little bit heavy handed with that because I like it so much. And we are not as high up on the jar as we usually are. So I'm thinking I need some more olive oil because normally I'm a little bit higher than that. I don't know. Oh, you actually can't see that. Sorry. Here we go. Excellent. And then the jojoba oil. So we're entering the non-food category. Just pour that in. This is really good for your skin. It's got um, great vitamins for it. Um, it's very moisturizing. And then at the end, you just put your tea tree oil in there. And I don't fill mine up all the way you can. There's like a little ring here. You can totally fill it up all the way. I actually think it's cuter to not have it filled up all the way. I don't know. There's just... Imagine it being yellow up to there, like, I don't know. I like it better down here. I think that's cute, it's pretty. So for essential oils, you don't want a whole ton. You're just gonna pour a little bit in, swirl it to kind of mix it up because you can't really fit anything down in this container. And pour a little bit more. If it doesn't smell like tea tree, you don't really have a whole lot in there. But essential oils are very strong, very potent. You definitely do not want to put anywhere near the amount of essential oil as you do carrier oil. Just a couple drops to a lot of carrier oils. Spin it. Mix it up, little air bubbles are getting in there. 
Okay, that smells good. That smells like tea tree oil. It's not overpowering. You can kind of see it suspended in there. So like those are the little bubbles. They don't really mix super well with the oil. It will. Um, it'll kind of break down a little bit. I think those are called, I could be wrong. I think those are called anti-bubbles, maybe? If it's not air trapped with liquid around it, I think if it's liquid with something around it, then it's an anti-bubble. I could be wrong. Um, I think I saw a video on that. Anyway, then you just cap it with your cork and you're good to go. Like that just sits on your little counter. It's cute. I'll put some pictures at the end. Oh, I can put it next to my shower scrub. I'll do some pictures of those because they're very cute together. And this is, like I said, you just pour it right in the bath with you. Just run the water, use it after the shower. You can use it just as a moisturizer. You can just pour it straight on your hand. I'll do that right now and show you. Or just like what's on the cork. Just stamp it. It's kind of shiny, you can see. It's really moisturizing. And just soaks right in, like it's not shiny or greasy or anything. It smells really good, feels amazing. My skin feels super soft with this on it. And yours will too. Anyway, I hope you guys really um, like this recipe and you use it and it's helpful for you. I will link all of the, or list all of the ingredients that you need for it down in the description box. I'd love to hear your comments down below. And then uh, if you wanna catch up with me on the socials, I'll put those in the description as well. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.